for another episode with Zoe and Jenna at the table. We have got your seat ready to go for you. So get yourself a cup of tea, cup of coffee and come and grab a seat with us. You're so welcome here and we're as always glad to be here with you. We're going to be following on today with the conversation on exposing lies that we can't see God and we can't hear God that we started in the previous episode. So get comfy and let's dive straight back in. Picture that he's shown you. This is something that is giving you a weapon to be able to walk confidently and peacefully in the rest of your life. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And I'm sorry, I was just quickly looking up Psalm 139. So mm. that that has led to scripture, God speaking to me through his word. You've hedged mm-hmm. me behind and before, and you've laid your hand upon me. You know, like he is, mm-hmm. he is before me, he's behind me, he's around me. And so there's, you know, that vision has led to something scriptural to give me. Um, I always, Jenna and I always take it back to the word. Mm-hmm. So when we see things, when we hear things, it's what is God saying in his word that will confirm that. And so um, how okay. interesting that um, these lies of hearing and seeing would be in our lives. Isn't it amazing to think what can happen in the believer's life, in your life, listening right now, when you step out of doubt, out of fear, and actually believe what God is saying to you. This will set you free and know how powerful God is in your life and what he's doing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I almost just want you to say that again. <laughs> You probably can't remember what you said. Well, I, I was really that whole, that whole, um, you know, when we, t- we step out from what we think is so hard and how we're spending so much energy on trying to hear him and trying to see him when, as you've just read, Jenna, living in the spirit, we have access to the kingdom and we can hear him and we can see him, but we need to step out of doubt and we step out of fear because there is so much freedom that can come. Mm. When we um, when we walk in our faith like this, and knowing that Holy Spirit is communicating to us, so 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 good, Zoe. Yeah. I mean, how do you deal with doubt, Jenna? Like, mm. doubt is something that we. It's so funny that you asked that because I was just going to say the same thing. So we're going yeah. in the right place. Yeah. Um, I think for me, one of the, and I'm going to get into this with the lie that I can't hear God as well in a little bit, but for me one of the biggest things is what goes on in my head. (laughs) I think for a long time, I didn't feel like my head was a very safe place. And Mm -hmm. so for me, um, oh, that makes me actually feel quite emotional to remind myself it is what it's been like. (laughs) Because, oh, sorry, I don't feel like that anymore. Mm. Because I've had revelation, which we're going to get to. But I think for me, in terms of doubt, one of the biggest things is that it has to be exposed. I can't let things sit in my mind and stew over because they become bigger and bigger and bigger. And the way that I see Jesus, the way that I see God, the Father and the Holy Spirit, I always try and, because I need I need to understand. And there's a lot that we can't understand. So I try and um, think of it in terms of my natural relationships. So if there was something with my real dad or my husband that um, made me doubt something, then I would, there's no circumstances that I hide that from them. You know, with Zach, there's, there's no time that I just keep that to myself and hide it from him. I talk to him about it and I tell him, hey, this is how I'm feeling. What do you think about this? And it might not even be a relationship thing, but just in general. Mm. And so for me with doubt about God, it looks like coming to him Mm. and saying, believing that he has given me free access because he has Mm. called me. He's called me a son or a daughter of the King. He sees me when he looks at me, he sees Jesus now because me and Jesus are one. We've become one because he's in me when I accepted him. So that means I have access to God, the father. And, um, I, and I tell him, (laughs) I tell him my doubts and I'll literally say, God, I feel like, um, I don't know right now that you're being good in this situation. I don't know if I can trust you in this situation. And 
that would have scared me once upon a time because I would think, who am I to come to the God of the universe, the creator of everything and the king of kings and tell him my little fear. But the more that I've realized this, the more I see him welcoming with open arms and he gets excited in these conversations because it's in, if you think of a child, when they ask big questions, that's when you get to see them grow in front of you (laughs) because Mm. you get to bring them into a new level of maturity and a new level of understanding. So that's a really long answer to say for me, Mm. when there's doubt, I really need to take it to God and tell him what the doubt is and then Mm. wait and sit there. And sometimes he doesn't tell me anything straight away about it, but I know that he loves that I bring it to him and he, and I know that he does unfold and reveal to me uh, that always the opposite of what I've been feeling. So Mm. what about you, Zoe? Oh, wow. Well, first of all, let's just take a moment to um, you listening out there just to receive the freedom that Jenna just landed on us. That was a real key. She just, set something free in us there the word of her testimony and the blood of Jesus you know her overcoming this is not just for her but it's an overcoming for all of us and so receive that into your life today that she's no longer where she used to be but she is now moving in the things that God has for her and and God is no respecter of man whatever he's done in her life he can do in your life yes today right here right now and so that's a really big key and a really um a testimony of freedom and, and so you know just I just yeah just receive that right now wherever you're at mm. just take a moment and and even just take a moment to think what is it for you is it hearing or is it seeing you know that you're sitting at in the moment what is that where is that place come come for you where you felt frustrated you felt blocked and can't move forward and so I love that Jenna Jenna I was just thinking um when you say like you hear God, um, he mm. really answers you. I was just going to clarify for everybody mm. out there that you you actually do that through journaling. Is that right? So it's yeah. like a two way conversation. So you're not for you just to show people hey, how do you actually? It's a it's a it's a journaling that you do, isn't it? Mm, a lot of the time, yes, yeah. yeah. I will. Um, I'll write thoughts down, um, and I will you know, write to myself from God, (laughs) Mm. like a little letter to myself. Mm. If you haven't done that before, we might actually spend some time on another episode talking about this because Mm. honestly, it is actually like, so and I have done this with hundreds of people, actually hundreds. And Mm. the feedback is always, I'm really nervous to do this initially. And then, Mm. oh my goodness, I had no idea that God would speak to me in that way. Yeah. It's a, such a powerful tool. And I think the other way they're hearing from God, it's almost like an intuition that, um, mm. yeah, it's like, as I ask him a question, I just, oh, it's hard to explain. I, I feel an answer back in my head. Mm. It's like, it's, it's like if I was to, yeah, it's like if I was to ask a question about anything that I know, you know, that there's an answer somewhere in there. It just, it just comes to me like intuition. Mm. 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 Yeah. Like something lighting up on your mind, which I think is so great. Mm. Well, like Jenna, for me, the other for me, when conquering doubt and fear, I think comes through um probably a bit of um downright stubbornness. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> you just gotta get out of here, doubt. And so I will not let you know the enemy rip the kingdom of God out of my life through doubt mm. and unbelief. And so um there's a bit of that warrior edge that I come and probably set the sword to it and and um, declare God's words. So I will say to myself, like, I can see and I can hear God. And it is normal for me to see God. And it is normal for me to see his kingdom. And it is normal for me to hear him. So um, I'm not special. I just, it's just part of who I am. And so I usually, I'm usually in the combat mode when it comes to things like that. And so um, I combat doubt and fear with the word. I will hear God's voice for that. And often, um, even now I've learned how God can actually use a dream to set me free mm. um, as well. So listening to how he's, what he's showing me in a dream is I have received a lot of um, freedom as well. So um, yeah, I, was, I had a dream. I was looking back through my dream journal and I saw how I was killing a snake mm. with the Bible. <laughs> no, I, <got> just, <laughs> I woke up the morning. The I thought, snakes, That's sorry, snakes and dreams often represent lies, right? So yeah yeah and yeah. so I was funny at the time that was a couple of years ago and I, I read that this morning how I was um killing a snake with my bible and I could have just <laughs> <laughs> oh 
my gosh, isn't that so good? Killing the yeah. lies with the word of God. Like, yeah. oh, powerful. What a powerful picture. Take that for your life today. Another key for your life today. Mm. You kill the lies with the word of God. Oh, man. And I think that even within that, Zoe, there's a couple of things that, first of all, it is just so important. And again, this is not a condemning thing. This is an encouragement that we know the word of God. Because how do you know these truths? It's because you're in his word. We, ha- we cannot, we cannot live our lives believing and trusting God if we don't know his word. We just, mm. we just can't. We need to be in there. We need to be learning and memorizing and understanding scripture, taking it and looking. And it might look like one verse a day doesn't matter it doesn't matter that one verse I believe he'll lead you to where you need to be you don't have to spend hours <laughs> no. you know that's another lie that if we're going to spend time with God it has to be really a huge amount of time but mm. no no pop a podcast on put put the uh, bible app reading over you as you do the dishes you know there are ways that we can just and we just get it around us we get the word of God around us and our spirit takes in what it needs to mm. And I think mm. the second thing there that you just shared, Zoe, which I just love so much about you is that, um, you know, Zoe said well, she combats um, these, you know, these attacks that come that are trying to, it's almost like a bully, like a school bully coming and trying to pick on her. And a couple of years ago, Zoe and I have known each other for a few years now. And a few years ago, I would see and Zoe would be telling you about something and she would get into full warfare mode and just go handy at this thing. And <laughs> and I love that. And I love that that's where you were at there. <clears throat> but I also love that that has matured and developed and grown in you. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. That now it's almost like, um, uh, oh, for goodness sake, it's you. Get out. <laughs> you know, it's like it doesn't even warrant a big you know, warfare anymore. The stubbornness mm. that's in you that comes to stand and fight against that is like, so now when it appears, um, I know you had another snake dream this week and it's, which doesn't happen often anymore. Mm-mm. And instead of being up all night praying into that, it was like, oh, we're going to say, you actually can't be here. I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. Get out. And then <laughs> back to sleep we go. <laughs> that's the one. That's you the know, one. It's, Come part on. of, it's that part of maturing, isn't it? And it doesn't mean that if you're still in the place of having to combat and really warfare really hard out, it doesn't mean that that's bad either. That's where, you know, that's something that you have to go through. And there'll be situations that come up for you now that still warrant that response because it might be something you haven't faced before or something new. But when the same thing keeps trying to come back, it gets to the point where it's like, oh, I know that knock. That's you again. <laughs> and I'm mm. actually just not going to open the door this time. Like, yeah. just get out. <laughs> yeah, come on. Come on. So what I'm hearing, um, you know, and feeling through both of us today, and I know we've been chatting for a while now, we can keep going for yeah. ages, is that we really want to see um, you step into freedom and in whatever part of your life that you're in and um You know, like it just can be quite simple as breaking your agreement with that lie. Mm -hmm. And so it can be a simple prayer. Let's keep things simple, Mm. you know, and believe that when we pray those prayers that they are so powerful, Um, you know, so, you know, you might want to take a moment and say, look, I agree. I am breaking my agreement with that lie. Somehow, some way I made an agreement that I I can't hear God or Mm. I can't see God. He's not communicating with me. I'm not hearing his language, whatever it may be, that the language of the Holy Spirit is just not coming through to me. And so break that agreement and then say, look, I'm God, I'm just stepping into that. And I'm going to step into the fact that and the truth that you are speaking and that I can hear you and that you're communicating with me every single day. Oh, yes, God. And I think giving permission God, whatever way you want to get my attention today, Mm. I want, I give you permission to get it. (laughs) Mm. I give you permission to grab my attention in whatever form that's going to look like. So, and I just, sorry, I just want to read just one last thing here from um, 1 Corinthians 2. And it says, um, let me just find it here. Um, This we speak, not in words taught us by human wisdom, but in words taught by the spirit explaining spiritual realities with spirit taught words and then a bit later it says we have the mind of Christ and I just think for both of us 
with these lies, not being able to see, not being able to hear. The lie is that um, our mind um, is tricking us, that, you know, we can't allow it to visualize things because um, that would be bad and we can't allow it to speak to us because that would be bad. But we have the mind of Christ. When we know him, when we love oh, him, when we're brought into oneness with him, when we believe and we receive him, we have the one mind with him. The old is gone. <laughs> old Jenna is dead. Old Zoe is dead. They actually just don't live anymore. Wow. And we are alive now in Christ. It's biblical. It's yeah. biblical. Who are we to disagree with that? Yeah. Come on. Come our on. minds and our imaginations are sanctified and safe because of who Jesus is, and because of what he's wanting to show us. So we just really want to release that over you today, that your mind if you know Jesus and you love him and you're one with him, your mind is sanctified. It is a safe place. And he, what he shows you will bring freedom and revelation to you that you could never, ever come up with on your own. <laughs> oh, wow. Come on. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, oh, man. We're so, so glad that you've been um, with us today. And we might break this into two. We'll have to have a little look, but it's just been such a joy to be able to share with you. And I really, Zoe and I both just really pray that there is something in this that is cracking open for you. Um, maybe it's even something that you can share with people around you. Maybe you feel like you hear and see God really well. But this is just a reminder that not everybody does. So, you know, our lives are not our own. They're so much bigger aren't they? It's not just about us. And I think particularly in this time that we're living in, where we're all a little bit isolated um, geographically, <laughs> that it's really important that we are sharing what we're learning with each other and um, inviting people into the revelations we have. You know, half of the understanding that I get from God is through what Zoe tells me. <laughs> <laughs> I see myself today going ahead in my day with the Lion of Judah walking ahead of me. And that's not because that was my revelation. That was Zoe's, but she shared it with me so I can take that as well. So don't, be, don't underestimate what you talk about with your friends. It actually, it brings freedom in regular conversations. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. Have a great bless week. Bless you guys. Yeah, bless you. And we will talk to you again.